Well, the world's richest man is the ultimate symbol of capitalism. But Bill Gates is saying that only big government can fix climate change. And a billionaire also saying that representative democracy is actually a problem. The bottom line is Gates is saying that the bottom line is not big enough to find a cure for climate change. Back with us, Tammy Bruce, Mercedes Schlapp, and Mark Serrano. Uh, Mark, wh what do you make of this? I, you know, I, I'm so used to these Silicon Valley guys having it both ways. But really, this is the biggest, most in-your-face diss of capitalism I've heard from somebody worth $50 billion ever. This story is replete with ironies, Charles, because if you take a look, we would not know the name Bill Gates if it wasn't for capitalism and the accumulation of wealth that comes from it. You know, the, the ironies abound. I mean, if you take a look at this, uh, you know, at least you could say this about Bill Gates. Mostly Democrats like to redist redistribute other people's money. At least Bill Gates is using his own. He's using 3% of his, of his vast wealth towards energy independence. But... He's yeah. got it wrong. He's got the approach. Look, I know he's got, uh, but he's got the approach yeah. all wrong. Well, here, the carbon here, tax me, hold on one second, will never Mark. work. Mercedes, here, here's the thing. Okay, here's a guy who, when he dies, his money won't go to the government. It's going to go to the Gates Foundation. That's Warren right. Buffett. Here's a guy when he dies, his money's going to go to to the Gates Foundation. These guys are phony. They're full of it. They're rich as hell, and they want everybody else to pay more money for their yeah. fantasies. I, I know, Charles. And isn't it ironic that he was for capitalism when he was building his com company and then you know the competitors take over like apple and then now he's thinking well representative democracy is now a problem i mean has he looked at the fruits of socialism and communism in the world in eastern europe alone there, during the time of communism you could even basically plant crops there because of the chemical wasteland that they built and this idea that you have to include all this heavily government subsidies i mean he's the one that was part of a very the least regulated sector when he was building out his company you know, we know that capitalism creates innovation it, it helps individuals really build out their companies and it's quite frankly an insult to small businesses even when government does do something like uh, create the internet they don't even know what they're sitting on it takes the private sector to really bring That's it back, right. bring it to life you know here's the thing too Tammy that this on democracy what he was essentially saying is that enough Americans don't know how to do math so we don't understand this this is why democracy is actually holding us back in this particular Case. Yeah, this is classic when you've got people who are of a certain category of individuals in society, they begin to think they're the only ones that matter, that they're the only ones who can understand what's happening socially, what's necessarily, what's necessary economically. But what, you, what you've got here, of course, also is a man who ironically, and I, and I think appropriately, is kind of begging his own question. He says he's putting $2 billion of his own money for you know, renewable energy. Well, that's great because that's the private sector. He just needs to look at what the government did with IT, with Obamacare and the market places to see that anything the government touches fails any government not just this one but any government any collection of bureaucrats will destroy the good idea well, so again, it's it's very strange thinking for a guy who's yeah. supposed to be rather smart and again he is not giving his money to the government he wants but to charles, get it this from is you. The, but <laughs> charles the hypocrisy here the hypocrisy here is about the policy of of climate change he wants a carbon tax. If that was, if this was such a threat to mankind, then Barack Obama would have used his first two years in office to pass climate well, change and a carbon he tax. Tried. I think, I think Obama misjudged uh, the death of Ted Kennedy and a lot of things he thought was going to force through. He didn't.